Welcome to a short video on the version 1.5 and 1.6 updates for the digital race engineer. Uh, to sum up, in both 1.5 and 1.6, uh, the focus has been to uh, minimize uh, CPU stress and uh, decrease the memory usage, uh, which has been uh, going on in Dre. I figured out uh, some different ways to, to, to handle this better, and uh, it has definitely improved uh, a lot, especially in the 1.6 update. But uh, this video is just about uh, giving you the highlights of uh, each of these two uh, updates, so let's give it a go. And uh, first up, um, in the version 1.5, let's just open the change log here. Um, the, the big thing is uh, live positions, uh, which are now included during uh, races. This means that uh, you are able to uh, get your true live position whenever you swap a position in a race. Uh, and this means that you don't have to go all the way around to the start finish line in order for the position to update. Good moving. You are in position number two now. It will instantly update, but with a delay of 10 seconds, meaning that if you are just side by side with a car, once in a while uh, peeking uh, forward, then it won't uh, notify you. Uh, so it has to make sure that you are definitely in front before it uh, uh, gives you this position update. Um, furthermore, in the 1.5, um, you are now able to uh, get some information on your own pit stops, how long they've taken, how much time you spent in pit lane, how much time you spent in the pit stop, and how many stops you have made so far in this session. And this works both in practice and race sessions. Um, furthermore, uh, you are also able to get uh, this information from the cars around you, meaning those in front and behind you, uh, both position-wise but also on track. So be aware that uh, you can also get the incident counts uh, for yourself, which should be the true realistic number. You can also get an estimate of, uh, of tracks um, for the cars around you. And just be aware that this is only an estimate, since uh, I'm pretty sure it's not possible to get the true uh, incident count of other cars yet. Uh, and finally, for the 1.5 uh, update, uh, I've changed the on-track distance factor to 0 0.35. And essentially what this does is that uh, you will now be monitored uh, a bit further away from other cars uh, when they are getting in your proximity. Uh, so overall the, the warnings uh, of these proximity alerts will appear a bit shorter or at least they will scan on a larger range. One car at pit exit. Eyes forward. All right, and then moving on to 1.6 uh, of three. Um, this is a version that now requires voice attack version 1.6 and I included this up here as well. Uh, so just um, download the newest uh, voice attack version from uh, their website and you should be ready to go. Also pay attention that if you are updating from a previous version I actually uh, recommend you to uh, delete the profile in voice attack as well as um, the files in the digital race engineer uh, apps folder inside voice attack and this is uh, because there has been a lot of changes in profile uh, commands uh, and especially in the alerts which means that if some of the old commands still run then they will uh, screw up and you won't really get um, the, the, the real alerts. And in 1.6, uh, I am pretty sure I have uh, fixed uh, the memory leak issues that has been going on. Some experience uh, small amounts of uh, leaking and others experience a lot. Um, at least I've tracked it down over the past uh, five or six weeks and uh, can at least on my system see that it's now stabilizing 
Another great thing about 1.6 is that the TPU usage is uh, now much smaller and this is uh, due to some new um, things, new features in Voice Attack 1.6 that I am now using in the plugin. And this means that uh, there are a lot of calls between the plugin and Voice Attack and the profile, um, which have been change around so they are more uh, optimized and what this means for you is that you will get um, an easier less stress on your CPU uh, but actually a, a side effect is that everything runs a little bit quicker as well so alerts like gear shifts and rapid alerts uh, will appear a little bit quicker uh, which is definitely noticeable on my end. So moving on to uh, a big feature in uh, 1.6 is uh, a neat thing uh, and that is that you are able to uh, tell or request the Dre to repeat the last command that has been set and this is uh, really useful when you are um, distracted by a racing situation or something outside uh, this uh, virtual cockpit. And um, you can just uh, say repeat please, and then Dre will repeat the last sentence that it said. What time is it? Time is now 16.07. Repeat please. Time is now 16.07. Furthermore, you are now able to deactivate the live positioning. So if you want to go back to just using iRacing default uh, positioning, then you are able to do this. Uh, maybe it's useful in uh, oval racing where you are often side by side with uh, with other cars. Uh, but um, yeah, you look it up in the manual to see how you do this. And then uh, one last bit is uh, that the auto fuel um, feature now finally works totally fully in the races and um, I fixed some bugs with it and uh, now it will automatically add uh, the remaining amount of fuel that you need in order to complete the race plus around 5 liters. You can set this uh, 5 liters which is a safety margin, you can set this um, to your liking. Um, also just see the manual on how to do this. And that sums up uh, the biggest changes of uh, version 1.5 and 1.6. Mostly focus on some backend stuff to make everything run more smoothly and I hope you guys will give it a, a shot and uh, see how it runs for you. So enjoy using uh, Dre and I will see you next time.